Hi, I'm Steve. This week we're going to look at setting up our EQ in Logic Express and Logic Pro to emulate the EMI consoles used at the Abbey Road Studios in the 1960s by such famous bands as The Beatles and Pink Floyd. The Red 37 desk was used from the late 1950s until 1969. The Red 51 desk was added in 1964 and also used until 1969. The Beatles recorded all of their albums except Abbey Road on these consoles. The red mixing consoles were based on vacuum tube technology and were designed to record large ensembles such as orchestras, choirs, and opera performances. The signal flow through the mixer was very different than in modern mixing systems, and the EQ was also quite different. The red consoles were not stereo as we think of it today, where we have a pan knob to set a location. Instead, the apparent location in space was set during recording using a pair of microphones. Getting a mono track such as a vocal solidly in the center of the mix took some trickery in post-production. Because of the original application of these mixers to classical music, the EQ section was quite minimal. Physical plug-in modules were developed to modify and expand the EQ capabilities. So let's make several presets to cover all of the options that the engineers had at Abbey Road. Both consoles had the same basic EQ section consisting of a low shelf filter and a high shelf filter. Here in our EQ module, we will disable all but the low and the high shelves. The low shaft filter was set to 100 hertz. We'll click and drag that to 100. On the classic setting, it was set at 10,000 hertz. So this is already set for us. We're going to save this setting as red classic. There was another setting which was labeled pop, where the high filter was set at 4700 hertz. Our software will only accept 4650, so we'll set that. Let's go ahead and name this and save it as Red Pop. Presence filter modules were used to add brilliance or presence when needed. These were plug-in modules which were added to the EQ chain. One of these was the RS-127 and it was set at 10K. Now this was just a high shelf filter. So we'll go ahead and set this back to 10K. This filter was usually set at plus 4 dB when it was used. So we'll go ahead and just set this to 4. Let's save the setting. The other presence module was called the RS-135. It had a preset frequency of 8 kilohertz. Now our computer is not going to accept that. So we can choose 8100 or 7900. We'll just go with 7900. And let's go ahead and save this. We'll call that Red Presence 8K and save it. There was one other standard EQ option available on these two consoles was called base lift, which is not to be confused with disconnecting something as in a ground lift. This was actually a boost or a lift of the base frequencies, and it was set at 100 hertz. So we'll do a low shelf filter here at 100 hertz, and it was fixed at plus 10 dB. So we'll preset that in. Let's go ahead and save this. We'll call this red base lift.